good afternoon, morning, or evening, or night, or whatever time you're listening here on the internet. Yep, it is me, I'm Stefan, the host of this here segment, Stefan Reads Line News. Uh, a little bit about myself before we get started. My name is Stefan. I am represented by Yoshimoto Kogyo, which is uh, one of the largest entertainment companies in all of Japan. Uh, but I don't let that stop me from reading the dumbest, most pointless news is brought to me by my Line News tab on my Line app. Line is, of course, the biggest messaging app in Japan, and it has its own news aggregator thing now which i read every single day except for when my internet's not working or when i uh have other stuff going on here on this small in japan youtube channel you can find us on patreon.com slash small in japan we're fixing that we have uh stuff there you can find me on twitter at stefan underscore tetsu find the show on twitter at small underscore in underscore japan uh, like, subscribe, all that jazz. Let's get to it. Today is August 26, 2022. If this is your first time listening, Line News uh, has two rows of big old pictures with headlines underneath them that are pretty much pointless stories that are probably just aggregated for me via the algorithm. Uh, and since I've been doing this for a couple weeks now, uh, it tends to pick the most pointless stories possible. But sometimes it can surprise you. And then sandwiched in between those two rows of fluff are the three actual top news headlines of the day that are pretty much hidden as nothing but little rows of text, which we'll get to in a sec. But first, the fluff. Story number one is a funny one, not really for the content, but for the headline here. Uh, it's a story about a police lieutenant in Saitama Prefecture, which is just north of Tokyo, uh, getting in trouble for potential power harassment. But the headline says uh, his sub, uh, a, 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 regarding his subordinate's uh, wife, or his subordinate's bento that his wife made, uh, he said, it looks like trash. And that was power harassment, apparently. Uh, so yeah, this 50-year-old police lieutenant in Saitama uh, has, is in trouble for well it says he says that one of his lieutenant or one of his uh, subordinates wives bentos looked like garbage um but i'm sure he's probably done more than that to warrant getting in trouble for power harassment which happens pretty much every single day here in japan and, and pretty much anywhere that's just how uh japanese business culture is uh which i definitely do not approve of and that's part of the reason why i've kind of soured on the Japanese enter entertainment industry here. Um, so, yeah, it says, according to the police, uh, I'm g guessing this is the police people, the police people who aren't uh, in the same department as this guy, uh, he told his lieutenant that the bento that his wife made him looked like garbage and other statements that made him out to be a fool. Now, it's, I don't, I don't think, this, this probably goes beyond, like, pure just clowning, right? Like, like in America, like, if, like, your friend brings something that looks like garbage, you're like, oh, man, that looks like garbage, man. And, like, you, you can tell that you're, like, the, you're playing around, or hopefully he can tell that you're playing around, that you aren't, like, making, you aren't just sound like a dick. Um, but in this case, this guy um, is, uh, yeah, uh, he, he par apparently did not have that clowning around intonation uh so i'm not sure why this is part of this article but, but apparently this guy he was uh, in charge of the prison system apparently uh he would eat the leftover bentos that they would use for like detainees and prisoners uh saying that it was a waste to throw them away which i'm not sure why this is included in this article about his power harassment but that's interesting i guess each of these bentos costs around 300 yen which is also an interesting detail they probably didn't need to include, but uh, he was d doing this for four and a half years. Why is this part of the uh, discussion here? What happened to that power harassment? Uh, but apparently he all he uh, left the... He had a for enforced retirement on the 25th of the month, so he is no longer working for the uh, 
police. Remember, ACAB. All right, story number two, uh, building off of a story that we've been covering the last couple of days. Uh, Shinodo Mariko, a former AKB Kami 7 member, um, who, if you remember, a couple of days ago, was reportedly uh, re revealed to be living apart from her husband and her daughter and is a former winner of Best Mother of the Year Award. Uh, an actual award, not just uh, my sar sarcasm there. Uh, apparently, so going off of the last couple of stories, uh, she was a, she was apparently supposed to participate in a uh, parent child event on the twenty fifth in Shinjuku, uh, but apparently she was not there. They had someone else go instead of her. Uh, and uh, this is reportedly because of the news of her cheating scandal slash her husband uh, leaving her with the kid or without the so she's no longer a mother in this case and her kid isn't with her as well uh, so uh, tough for her hopefully things get sorted out there and she can uh, either go on as a childless t childless adult or figure out a way to co-parent her child with her husband. Uh, yeah, not great there. Uh, anyways, that's the first two fluff stories. Let's look at that second row of fluff. Uh, let's try to get through these a little bit. We're kind of uh, grinding today. Okay, this one is not necessarily fluff, but Kagawa Teruyuki, who is an actor slash TV host or whatever, um has been accused of sexual assault, uh, but that isn't stopping NHK from uh, airing his TV show uh, going forward, which is rare because uh, normally whenever there's even a whiff of this sort of uh, scandal slash sexual crime, uh, NHK is pretty, or any, not just NHK, but Japanese showbiz in general is pretty quick to pull the plug on anything, possibly even like featuring uh, the culprit, either in the front of the screen as like a host or in the background as like an even an extra. Um, so the the thing here too is that his his uh, Shouzoku Jim show, show, so his his agency has even said that the story that got broken in um, this uh, daily in in this uh, like daily tabloid is true uh, where he apparently uh, yeah was uh, rough on a woman um, or actually it was at a at a high a coal queue club in Ginza so a uh, high class uh, hostess club in Ginza uh, where he uh, kissed, he kind of forced himself on a hostess, which is not great. Uh, and uh, she, the, 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 like, about, apparently, like a year after this happened, this happened in 2019, the woman in question uh, went to the mama of the club, so like the, the mistress of the club, uh, and said that she had PTSD, and uh, things uh, proceeded from there. Now, I'm not sure if that's necessarily a criminal, uh, well, it is a criminal offense, uh, but I'm not sure if there's going to be any criminal charges pressed forward uh, in this case. But either way, even like just doing that much is enough to get you kicked off of TV in Japan. But NHK, for whatever reason, has decided that they are not going to uh, worry about that and are going to continue airing his show uh, going forward. He was, he was also on a live like news show that he hosts uh, every Friday this morning uh, where he apologized for what he did. Um, so, yeah, not a great day for Kagawa Teruyuki. Uh, moving on, story number four uh, is a... Okay, here's a fluff story. So, it's Ishihara Satomi, who was like ranked as like the most beautiful person in Japan for multiple years, if I remember correctly. Uh took her first picture with her husband and her kid. Uh, and they say that she's changed quite a bit since the birth of her first kid. Uh, she even goes shopping without makeup on, <laughs> which is news, apparently. Uh, and then they go on to describe how she's dressed uh, going shopping on a Sarebunamachi, so like a rich person street, uh, pushing a stroller, 
wearing a beige t-shirt and black short pants, which is very, very important to know. Oh, she also wore sandals. Uh, and this is according to witnesses. They actually use the word according to some according to witnesses to describe this. I'm not sure why this is news. It's not an Instagram post. It's a it's literally someone going to the, going to the news or going to some website to report that they've seen Ishihara Satomi without makeup going shopping with her kid. Just let the poor lady go shopping. Jesus. <laughs> Man. Um, anyways, that was, those are the top four fluff stories for today. Let's take a look at the actual news headlines. Alrighty. So, story number one here is about the uh, nuclear proliferation treaties on talks ongoing in New York. Uh, more specifically, they talk about how uh, the current document was has been revised to uh, appease China and Russia. Um, and there's still discussions ongoing and it's not there. They aren't sure when things or if things can be resolved. Um, this is obviously important news for Japan, which is directly next to both of those countries and also the only experiencer of actual nuclear weapons being dropped on their country. Uh, so, yeah, you can see why this would be top news here in Japan. Let's look at story number two, which is um, also rather important, I guess. So, Shinzo Abe's, or Abe Shinzo, whichever way you want to pronounce it, uh, his, nat his national funeral is going to cost 250 million yen, it was announced, which is about like $1.8 million. All in all, not too um expensive of a national funeral i guess uh and uh the uh, the ministers involved say that there's not really going to be much of an effect on the economy which at 1.8 million dollars uh considering how much japan spends on other random stuff yeah i could see why it wouldn't really be too much of an effect so yeah that looks like that's going to happen at the end of september uh, dignitaries are going to be coming in from around the country. I was actually watching a, a news discussion about this um, and one of the panelists was saying that this could be the big push Japan needs to start lessening its mask uh, its mask enforcement. Well, it's not really enforcement because people aren't exactly wearing masks because they're of any rules. They're just wearing masks because they're afraid of getting uh, scolded or reprimanded or, or having the... Um, the, the a negative view being viewed negatively by the people around them that's the main uh reason people wear masks here in japan at this point so they're, they're hoping that like seeing foreign dignitaries here for the funeral not wearing masks might be the push people in japan need to maybe lighten up a little bit when it comes to wearing masks like on 90 degree days in the middle of july my fingers aren't really crossed there. I think, I think Japan's gonna keep wearing masks uh, regardless. Maybe not as much as they've been doing now, but it's still gonna happen. All right. So speaking of Abe Shinzo's uh, funeral, the uh, police, the national police chief, uh, who uh, you know faced scrutiny for not protecting a former prime minister of the country better. Um, had quit a couple of days ago and he has been immediately replaced by his uh, classmate at the police academy. Um, so uh, the new guy coming in is Tsuyuki Yasuhiro. I guess remember that name. I'm not really sure uh, how much you're going to really be, he be hearing from him. Hopefully not too much because that means he's probably doing his job well enough. Um, so yeah, that was story number three. Thank you guys so much for listening. Yeah, it's been a long uh, day. I don't know. I'm still uh, loopy from my lack of sleep the last couple of days. Uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Uh, remember, like, subscribe if you haven't done that already. Find us on Twitter, Patreon, all that jazz. Till next time, take care. Uh -huh.